Escape the real world apocalypse by watching survivors survive in the Daisy apocalypse. If Daisy is your therapy, then this is the channel for you. So just relax and enjoy this episode. Grenade. I'm gonna shoot. Every life in Daisy begins and ends the same way. Welcome to Daisy Therapy. All right, here is our new survivor. And in this series, we don't take ourselves too seriously. It's just a break in your day. It's Daisy Therapy. It's fun to watch someone survive in a zombie apocalypse. And um, kind of just get a break from reality. We got a namer. We name every survivor. I don't know what we'll name her yet. You can start posting some name ideas below unless something comes up, which usually something comes up in the first episode. And we rename her. Ah, we don't need these. We got our we got our dad shoes on. We got our new balances. Alright, this could keep us a little bit warmer. Uh, a lot of times my daughter Brooklyn likes to be around when we're doing these. She might pop in. Kind of something we do together. She sits in is my life coach telling me what I should and shouldn't do and goofing around with me. We'll see what to name her. Kind of look around. Even right here in, uh, in the room that I'm playing, there's a DVD sitting here, Death Sentence, with Kevin Bacon. Maybe we name her Bacon. It's her nickname. But I think for that to happen, we have to kill a pig today. Remember the Death Sentence movie with uh, Kevin Bacon? It's a remake of the one with the dude in it. What's the dude's name? I can't remember. Can't remember. He, <laughs> he, the guy in the original Death Sentence movie was like the tough guy back in the day. Like, I think back when Clint Eastwood, like maybe just before Clint Eastwood, became popular. Look, someone's building up there. And um, I can't remember his name, but he looks like my wife's Tito, her uncle. And his name was Tito Guido. So whenever I see that dude from the original Death Sentence, uh, he's an actor. He's in a bunch of tough guy movies back in the day. I always think his name is Tito Guido. I go pink. Is there a pink top right here? Oh, those are both pants. All right. Got some paint going down in the apocalypse. Guido. <laughs> Maybe we name her Guido. I don't even know if that's a girl name in any culture or not. Bacon Guido. See, these things just sort of work themselves out, these names. <laughs> I can't believe we're considering naming her Guido. Well, how's your day going? I hope this video makes your day a little bit better. If you're new to the channel, there are tons of playlists on this, on my channel. Tons of videos. State of Decay 2 and this, and uh, probably get into some seven days to die for a bit here. See how that goes. They got the new one coming out for Xbox, at least as of the time I'm recording this. Steak Knife is a huge early game find. I'm just checking if my mic is working, and it is. Not going to take the helmet. I hear a chicken. I get the knife out of my hand. I've made that mistake of keeping the knife in my hand and uh, leaving it at the well on accident. Where are you going to get that chicken? I should cut up that dress and get some hand wrappings. Great. I'm running for the garage. <laughs> Rookie mistake. And we're back. Good thing it didn't happen on like one of the crazy challenges where there's a lot at stake. When I was doing my lucky year-long survival series, I would always check the batteries. A lot of times that would be the day I'd record that would be the day that I put new batteries in. Just keep the other ones for like an emergency. I'm surprised we haven't seen another freshie. They on server LA4293 on Xbox. So if you're curious to follow and track her movements, even try to hunt her down, this isn't like a live stream. But, you know, if you're 
looking to play on a server. Might as well be this one. That looks like a player, right? Moving in the trees. Let's go say hi. And maybe Guido Bacon doesn't <laughs> doesn't live real long. Hello? Yep. They're gonna hide from me. What's up, Survivor? How are you? Hello? Is anybody here? Are you hiding? It's all good. Dang, they sure are good at hiding. I don't see them anywhere. Do I hear a pig? Oh, it'd be awesome if I heard a pig. Right, I guess we go back for that chicken. We did see somebody. I for sure saw somebody. They're probably laying down in this field hiding or they're in this compound. People are scared. Even when they have nothing to lose, they're scared. That's okay. Hello? Are you in here? I see a pink. Uh, if it's a raincoat, we're going pink. Brooklyn! Um, working on a name for the survivor. You want to pull up uh, the bench? All right. Let's get reset here. Right, just moving stuff around so Brooklyn and I can sit next to each other. I did see a survivor in the area. Um, you'll never guess what I'm thinking of naming this survivor here. Michonne? No, Michonne. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Guido Bacon. Guido Bacon. <laughs> Why? Um, well, Death Sentence right there is, see the DVD? Yeah has a movie with an actor, the original one, that's the new one, has an actor with a movie in it, a movie with an actor in it, and I can't remember the original actor's name, but he looks like your mother's uncle. His name's Tito Guido. Tito Guido? Uh, yeah, Tito Guido. And he looks just like the main actor in that movie. So, as the end, that guy's name is Kevin Bacon in that movie. So, if I'd like to find a pig and have her eat some bacon, but... Um, Guido Bacon. I don't know. We can change it. I'm just saying it's a funny name. <laughs> there is a survivor I saw running in the field, but he's hiding, I think. I was going to say hi. There's a chicken over here. He might make his way over here to the well anyway. But yeah, New Daisy Therapy Series. I think it's time to bring the series back. Oh, get a t-shirt. Get a t-shirt. Merch store, Daisy Therapy. It says it on it on the shirt, and it's my favorite shirt. You see how often I wear the shirt. Yeah, there's a hoodie and a regular shirt. Just Daisy therapy, man. Daisy is your therapy. Then um, make it happen. Uh, there was a dress. I think it's back a little ways. I ran pretty pretty fast to try to say hi to that survivor. Oh, I didn't kill this guy. I didn't kill that guy. Hello? Anyone here? Yeah, it's a zombie, I guess. We got evidence. Guido Bacon seeing dead zombies all over the place. Yeah, the well is back here, actually. The well, get the hand wrappings, get the chicken. Kill a few zombies, hope they got some canned foods and stuff on them. I love the beginning of a daisy life, don't you? Yeah. It's so much fun. Yeah, we'll try to say hi to pretty much everyone we meet. Uh, where was that dress? Well, we got this. We could cut this up. Let's check one more house. Because the dress gives you six and it was pristine. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to put... There it is. If I'm going to put where six. 
Can I say 16? How badly damaged is this? Uh, I don't know if I should cut that up or risk it. Because we don't want to ruin the knife. Oh. Because we want to get that chicken. But we want hand wrappings. Alright. I might punch the chicken and then cut it so the knife doesn't take damage. Is there a zombie right outside your door? Or? It looks like some, the shadow is moving. It might be the tree, like a tree in the wind. It's kind of weirding me out. Inconsistent. Yeah, it's weirding me out. But I guess not. All right. Oh, there's a helmet right there. Yeah, that was there earlier. Oh. When I came through here. All right, we'll punch out some zombies over here. Hope they give us some some loot. There's a lot of them though. There's a chicken over here somewhere. You can turn the volume up if you want. I don't know where the remote is. But if you want to be able to hear. I got headset on. She doesn't. Let's go, Guido. I think the name is locked in. As dumb as it is. Guides. Alright, so far so good. Nice. No loot. Oh, look. They're twinning. Let's pile them up. Wait, are they? Well, he's got a hat. That's how their parents could tell the difference. Oh. Is, uh... Son number one here never wore a hat. Ah, oh, dang it. We're gonna have to run. I don't want to fight two. That's how they could, they could tell them the difference. They used to put a mark on their arms. Like oh. with a marker every day to tell who was who. But they got tired of doing that. And it was weird. People would ask questions like, Why'd you write a mark on your boy's hand? So then they just gave him a hat. He was forced to wear that hat every day of his life. I don't know how I'd feel about that. Oh, it's a helmet. Oh, dang. Even more embarrassing. Wearing a helmet in the car, on the bus. Just so that they could tell him apart from his twin. We have twins at the school I teach part-time at. And I asked him, have you guys ever switched places? And he was hesitant to answer. I'm like, it's all right, man. Like, I won't get you in trouble. I'm just really curious. And he admitted that he did. And I was like, oh. And he's like, you didn't notice. <laughs> oh, he switched to my class and I didn't know. Dang. I respected him for that. Probably not a good thing, though. All right, look for that chicken. I think we're going to have to punch it. Which means two punches. Is it behind this poo pile? No, it's on the other side of the wall. I'm surprised it hasn't drawn another survivor over here yet. He's been oh, nice, perfect. He's been squawking for a while. <laughs> Is that a word? I don't know. What do roosters do? Howling? No. Cockadoodling? They. Do Not only do. two. I, I feel know. like this is like basic information. This is that you basic. Learn <laughs> in yeah, you learn as a child. What sound does a rooster make? What does the fox say? I can't believe that was a big song. It's so stupid. <laughs> There's a zombie over here. Knock him out. Do you have your knife in your Uh, no, I don't want to. Oh, I do. Dang. Good call. Oh, there's two of them. Are these guys oh, twins yeah. as well? Oh my gosh, there's so many twins. But they don't work. Then there's no way to tell them apart. No. Oh dang. Is it locked? It's locked. What's this guy have? Oh, the hat. I got, I got the helmet from the twin. Oh, this guy's got a hat. That's how they tell them apart. See, it must have been something in this neighborhood, right? Something. That, like, they probably were all in the same school, and one parent got it from another parent. Like, parents of twins exchanging uh, tips, you know, like, hey, what do you do with your twins? Oh, you know, oh, we have one of them wear a helmet so that we can tell them apart. And then that parent was like, well, that's kind of dumb. You don't need to have a helmet. How about just a hat? But they didn't have a hat because they're poor. Like they only had part of a hat, oh. and the top part, <laughs> the top part is ripped off, so it just covers the ears. 
More like a like a bandana. Yeah. But not as cool. Yeah, look at that. Dang. Wow, a lot of twins. Some something in the water over here. <laughs> this is a great story, Brooklyn. Like this story. Guido Bacon and the twins. There's twins all over the place. I wonder if I should stop and cook. Oh, how am I up on food? What did I eat? Oh, I ate that zucchini. I'm going to go back to the well again. Get hydrated. Maybe cook over here. It's a great place to meet people. I haven't looked in here yet, but... Is there usually anything in here? No, I don't, I don't usually have good luck in these. Mm -hmm. Wire, I don't have any use for that. Is there something Not... else in there, or is that just... Uh, well, wire for like building a gate oh. and base. I don't know what other I uses there are. Else. Yeah, there's lots of like garbage on the floor that looks like something in those, but they're not anything. Yeah. I always like do double takes in there. I'm like, what, what? Tire iron. I guess that's something. Puts a little distance between me and a person who wants to kill me. Well, our food is up. I don't know if it's worth a fire for two pieces of chicken. A little cook fast, I guess. We burned through our knife. We have those bones, so we can make another bone knife. I don't know. Got pink pants. Pea coat, BK, which is usually fairly easy to find ammo for, but it's a one shot. But it could be fun. Sunset is a coming. And we've really, I just spawned in like right over there. I've, I've gone in circles like <laughs> two, three <laughs> times back to this area. I guess I could cook and see if anyone comes by, like they see the fire and come on over to say hello. Doubt it. Oh, that's a base. That's a big base. Yeah, it's a base up there. That's pretty bold for 4293. The server's busy. Like that fact that someone's going for that says that there's probably a team involved. It looks like it's been raided. I'm probably not worth it for me to take the time to go up there. I mean, you could. If you yes. think it's fun, I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't appeal to me. I just don't think anything's going to come of it. I guess the idea that maybe we could see somebody, although if someone was there, they'd probably be killing us right now. Yeah. Staying by the well isn't that bad. It's probably a good idea. Let's break these sticks. They should have you break the stick over your knee. <laughs> That's how you do it in real life. Mostly you're like, crap, like yeah, that. Yeah, you remember that one video where like that kid, he was like breaking twigs with his knee. Oh, is that a video? Yeah, it's I don't like remember that. this kid who was just like having a lot of fun being a doomsday prepper or whatever. Oh, yeah. He's just breaking <laughs> twigs with his leg. Yeah. Um, yep. Well, that chicken was a clutch find, not only for the food, but for the bones. It stinks that I saw one player and they didn't want to... didn't want to say hi. Craft a bone knife. We gotta get some bark. So that we can start a fire. Aww. How many of you guys have crafted a bone knife and then walked away thinking it's in your inventory and it's on the ground? That seems to happen. Or a fishing hook. Craft a fishing hook. I got my two pieces. Yeah, we're gonna cook this up. We're yellow food already. chicken like keep you filled up? Not that great. Yeah, it, it, it won't do much. It'll only buy us a little time. Yeah, the hand drill kits back in the day, you could use it and reuse it. Now it disappears after you use it. Mm. Boom, see it's gone and you can't use it again. But back in the day, you could use them a few times. All right, cooking some chicken with nothing to defend ourselves, except this skate helmet from the from the twin. The no, there's nothing in the gun. Just 
to make you look cool? Yeah, I could be like, stop right there. I totally have ammo in this gun. And they'll yeah. probably put their they'll hands up. You, they'll probably run away. Yeah. Stop. I have ammo. <laughs> Those are my pants from earlier. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Wait, are there two fireplaces? Uh, yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah, they got the little one. The big one. I got, yeah. funny story, but it probably embarrassed your sisters. Oh, uh, yeah. Should I tell it, or? How it's not embarrassing like is it on the scale of like one to ten? <laughs> this, this is up there. <laughs> <laughs> because you, what was I saying? You got the little one, little one, and the big one. When they were little, they used to um, drop their turds in the toilet. Oh. And if there was more than one. They'd be like, oh, it's it's the daddy turd and the little baby turd. <laughs> or if it was like a medium, they'd be like, it's daddy turd and the mom and the little mommy turd. <laughs> they, they'd like, like look at them and count them. <laughs> That's different. They're yeah, kids. so when I hear like, oh, a little one and a big one. Yeah, they're little. They were they were they wouldn't be that embarrassed, honestly. That's just funny. No. Like, oh, no, because it's it's a it's a daddy and a little mommy, and little baby, little babies. <laughs> like, oh, <that's> so cute. <laughs> But yeah. they in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, but they just, you know, family's important to them. You know, it's always <laughs> on their mind, I guess. See how obvious that fire is back there. Yep, see the smoke? Someone's probably going to run in there right now, like with an AK, just hoping to get a kill some bloodthirsty monster of a man. <laughs> oh, we're in white food, white water big city so once we get into the city here we should be able to kind of loot up and hang out in an apartment maybe should be a city gal and just make this apartment her home we don't have to travel real far i don't know daisy therapy is like goldfish we name them but we quickly forget them because they die kind of often yeah <laughs> we don't we just have fun with it although sometimes we get really attached and people get really sad yeah. but we haven't done daisy therapy we've had Daisy and Daisy, like the flower, that she's still alive. Um, if there's a demand for it, we'll we'll pick up her series again. She's just kind of always going, like always, always. Sometimes we'll have her on for a few weeks, then off for a few weeks. And uh, we got Cat, the uh, gas station attendant. That's a separate series. But Daisy Therapy might roll through five or ten characters all in one playlist. So. Um, yeah, at the end of this, check out the other playlists on the channel if you got more time looking to hang out. I don't really like walking through here, but yeah, cause that zombie's probably not going to have any any food right now. I just care about food. They're probably just going to give me the vest, the reflective vest. Sporter. I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, another knife. No ammo. Oh. I don't think I want the sporter. It can look scary. At least the other one packs a punch. Though the sporter does have sporter mags uh, that you can, you know, you can semi semi-automatic. Man, I drew a blank there. Do I have a knife? I don't. Okay. Might knock out tracksuit guy because he might have food. Kind of feel like they won't. Just a gut feeling. What kind of helmet is that? Ballistic helmet. I think we upgrade yeah. from skate helmet to, to ballistic helmet. She's looking dangerous. Yeah. Beret. Nah. Too soft. Oh. Got a few zombies here. <laughs> Probably gonna get myself in trouble. I don't really know where I can run if I have to run. Um, you just gotta run. Yeah. But you, like, escape to... Like, I could escape to that building over there. Okay. You know, where you can close a door and punch them through the door or just let them wander off if you're in trouble. Yeah. Try not to fight more than one at a time. The sun is setting. I think I know where I want her to end episode one. It's one of my favorite little apartments in the game. I don't know why. It's in, in um, Cherno down here. So are we good with the name? So it's out of the box. I, I mean, usually so. we have like... Something a little more normal, but yeah. Guido Bacon, Guides. 
She's not a twin. No. No. She doesn't have a twin in the world. If you got a twin, you gotta let me know in the comments. That'd be pretty cool. There's sometimes there's I mean there's like a military tent up here. On this server it's highly dangerous and usually there's no loot. So let's check it out. Denim jacket. It's crazy finding this ballistic helmet. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't expect to find that in there. I guess it was like a guard post of some kind. So it probably did spawn there. Yep. Pouches. Cool. Colt mag with ammo in it. Camo net. I don't know that we'll ever get a ballistic, like a late carrier with this survivor so the pouches might be useless you can store stuff in them and hold it so it doesn't really take up space really but I might drop it I don't know dude another camouflage or ballistic what do you think Brooklyn which one should we go with mm, your call know. your call uh, let's stay. stay with what we got okay Smoke grenade could be fun. I don't usually take them, but let's take it. We so got another Colt. Ooh, a nice knife. I'm going to drop these stupid things. I'm not going to use them. What were you going to say? What did Guava do before the apocalypse? Uh, Guido? Uh, 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 Guido. Guava? Guava. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we say yet? I don't, I don't think I don't we said. Think so. I mean, what do you think? I mean, look at her. Look, we're, um, we're looking good, I'll tell you what. The top half of her is looking good, but then you look at the bottom, it's just pink. I don't pants. think we said it. I mean, she could have been a movie extra, like just in the background of movies. Maybe a teacher. She's got to be from like Guam or something with that kind of name. Guido Bacon. Guido. Um, I don't know, we're looking pretty, pretty dapper right here. That's a good look. <laughs> what do you think? Guido Bacon. Guido Bacon. I'll go with what, what's your gut say she did? She used to work at Napoleon's dog thing. She's the chickens. She raised chickens? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she raised yeah. chickens, so it must have been a small town or like... Yeah. Outside of a big city? Yeah. Is she from uh, Idaho then? Yeah, I think that's where Napoleon's uh, from. Just north of Boise? Um... How did she get to Russia? Easy. Um, <laughs> she was. She was over here to research their chickens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so she can improve her chicken rearing skills, raising up chickens. Yeah. Unfortunately, while her plane was in the air, the apocalypse broke out. Yeah, that's why she was wearing like a t-shirt and like just comfy fresh spawn pants because she just got off a flight. She doesn't dress up to travel like some people do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like that story, Brooklyn. Is this a plane crash over there? Yeah, that was her plane, actually. Oh, oh. Yeah. She just teleported. I don't know how she ended up over there. But. I think she flew out of the sky. You remember like that zombie? This one like... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, when we were gaming, it just like glitched up into the air. Yeah. yeah That's crazy what things happen. Yeah. Crazier things have been known to happen in this world. Yep. Kind of like to loot my way over to this apartment. That guy's giving me the side eye. Capri pants. Do we ditch the pink ones for the white ones? I kind of think we stay pink. Yeah. Unless it's like better quality, but those look pretty garbage too. We really could use some duct tape. How bad is this? I, I don't want that to get ruined, damaged. I think that's where you came from. Just Where'd they go? They're on the stairs. I hear another chicken. Are they still over here? I thought they came still over to the house. No. Might have to knock yeah, them out. Yeah. 
There's one. I can take on one. I'm get that chicken. Did I eat both pieces? I think I did, right? Are you not tracking my macros? No. Oh, dang it. God dang it. Clothes are taking a beating. Oh, super score. Let's save it for the end of the episode. Ah, uh, where's the chicken? Chicken's over here, too. Chicken found. She's studying the chicken. She's realizing the chicken. Oh, oh the chicken's attacking the zombie with her. It's her pet chicken. No, I'm not. Beautiful hen. Do that is dead. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. What can she learn from this one? It's got it's got a red um a red crown thingy on its face. Very good observation, yeah. then. Yep. That's what she does. Oh, I gotta go around that way. Yeah, because otherwise you kind of get stuck. Like you have to go around the water. Not stuck, stuck, but you know, like you have to go all the way around this waterway. Probably should have put a bridge over there. That would have been cool. Two hits. Oh, we got salty sticks and Sprite to end the episode. I hear another. Uh oh. Unless that was that one just glitching out, like, it went, ah, right as, <laughs> way after it was dead, so. Zombie. Zombie. Yo, we nerfed its heart out. Is all these people dead? Is all these people dead? <laughs> She's got just a random but cool uh, outfit on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go upstairs. I get blends in, but it also doesn't. Yeah, well, I'm hot pink pants, but other than that, it is kind of blendy for an urban setting. But it's not really like blendy. No. At the same time. Oh, there's a dude. Zombie. Come at me, bro. Okay. Is it the chicken that's keeping the zombies away? I don't know. Why didn't that zombie charge me? Is it because of the chickie there? The hen? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I might just keep this survivor in... Um, I think I'm going to switch out for the jeans. In Cherno, just make her a city girl. Just keep collecting stuff in the city. Keep surviving in the city. I don't know if we get really, like, if nothing's happening, maybe we'll venture out on field trips. Oh, that's got to happen. Yeah. Oh, deal. Oh. And around in it. We're dangerous now. Yeah. I could be like, I got ammo in this. <laughs> and they'll be like, nah, I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> but then this time it's kapow. <laughs> And I wish they believed me. Yeah. If I see another survivor, I think I'll tell them I'm researching the chickens. Just to see what they say. <laughs> They'll probably be like, oh, no. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nah. Remember when you first started playing Daisy? Yeah. What was it like? The game was different. Like it was super. If you think it's like glitchy and laggy now, it was next level back then on the Xbox. Mm. And uh, if I remember right, you couldn't even jump over little fences. Like you'd have oh. to go around and open every gate to every yard. That's not fun. Yeah, way back when it first dropped. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you bought it when it first dropped, like I did, if you're as cool as me. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there's the iconic skyline. I hear another chicken. Gotta study them. Where the bell is ringing. Uh, can you type to Ross? Uh, electro, but logging off. Or Cherno, but we're logging logging off soon. Yeah, there's a Discord. Uh, hopefully, I'll remember to link it in the description if you want to meet friendly uh, DayZ players. Found a school backpack. Join our Discord. Just don't be a turd is kind of the rule. Just be, be a good person. Or at least pretend to be. <laughs> Wait, doorknob. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Let's get it. Because we're we've been getting some good loot. Oh, that was a warning. <laughs> First shot was a warning <laughs> shot. I have ammo in here. That would be a good psych out. I totally have ammo in here. And they'd be like, no, you don't. And they'd be like, boom. What do you think do now? You, do you think it'd actually be a good psych out? Good I don't know. <laughs> These things usually don't go well. But, like, if you said it more seriously. Oh, look, there's a plane. Yeah, there's the plane. Dang, man. Wow. Ooh. I'm gonna log off in that apartment right there. I'm just gonna Ooh. check this kiosk. And we'll drink our Sprite, eat our salty sticks, and, um. Oh, and chips! Dude, we're gonna have a party. Mm -hmm. That makes me wanna check this one. <laughs> next one. Ah, sadly. Nothing. All right, well, this is a new season of Daisy Therapy. There's seasons past, including back when I was using an Xbox 360, or Xbox One, before I had the S. And they're just fun. They're just fun. All right, let's find our place for the day, getting a little hungry. I hear a zombie. I hear him. Oh, hey, buddy. <coughs> Give me a Coca-Cola. Not a cola. Dang it. Alright. We're closing up shop. It's getting dark. We don't really record in the dark. It's hard to see. Hopefully no one's in here. I have ammo. Yeah, this'll do. Way up here. This is cool. Gotta go through all these hallways and stuff. That's cool. I did have a Survivor Series that ended in this very room right here. It was yeah. one of my favorite series is, is, yeah. I was gonna make this an apartment base and I walled it off and then I realized that my wire, or my pliers were broken and I couldn't turn oh. it into a gate and I was trapped in here. Oh. And that was the end. I could stand here and see around the wall and see the TV, so I just told everybody she's just gonna live in this little apartment and watch people go by for the rest of her life. Okay. Yeah, and it was on this server too. And I checked back every now and then. Nobody broke down the wall for the longest freaking time. Really? Yeah. I mean, the survivor was long dead, but I killed a dude in here too. So it was me and a body with flies, and it was a really eerie ending. <laughs> the goal was to build an apartment in the city and like only loot in the city. It took me a while forever to get all the stuff to build that fence, and then I trapped myself in. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do this again. It's over. Mm, chips, salty snacks, chicken, which we name our chicken. Henry, Henry the Hen, Henry. Maybe we just keep Henry the Hen the whole time. That'd be good. Yeah. Would it ever rot? Though? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll rot. Oh, well. It's part of the uh, study, though. Yep. Yeah. It's I can throw it at people. Yeah. Throw it at zombies. I think we keep Henry the Hen. This is gonna be a fun series, guys. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on it. Uh, our girl's gonna have a sleep. I have bacon and eggs. There we go. Um, yeah. Guido. Bacon from South Idaho studying the chickens in the apocalypse living in Ternaris. We're gonna keep getting it. Straight through the apocalypse. Get a Daisy Therapy t-shirt. Check it out. Link for